Hey, it's Ragtar, and I am back playing the Dark Souls, and I thought I would start this episode off with a little tip that was given to me by my broha, who is actually currently also playing this game. I shared a part with my brother, and he's currently playing this game. He told me that there was straight up an Estes Shard flask if I knock that rock down and weigh up that corpse. And so Estes Shard flask, or Estes, sh Estes flask shards that can power up your Estes flask, which you can do by talking to old lady sea watcher yeah. she'll it, it she stops talking ever all right cool yep upgrade estus flask you do that and that will give me one extra charge on my estus flask which will be nice because i want to you know save my life gems as much as possible i don't want to be throwing them away on needless things but now that i've done that it is time for me to head towards my first destination and i would like to oh i don't have a shield yet so i've got a Let's pull out my wand, just so I can fight dudes from a distance, if I see any dudes. Because... I definitely... So yeah, I want a shield eventually, I figure I'll pick up some shit shield off of a dude, and eventually I'll probably be able to like buy, buy a shield from someone. But basically until then, I have to rely on just being able to... I like how it says chest ahead, and it's like, if you're at that point, some of the clues that people leave, I almost question, like, I almost question the fact that they left the clue to begin with. Like, I sit there, and I'll sort of think to myself, alright, gotta make sure there's no dudes around corners. Oh, okay. But yeah, I to sit there and I think to myself, like, what's the point of even leaving a note at that point? I guess if you're worried about there being, like, a dude behind you, that's one thing. But when... or no, like, yeah, yeah. Like, stuff that... Dash, huh? Oh. Oh, okay. I was... that I read that just in time. I was like, what do I need to dash? Oh, don't do that. That'll... Right, and good luck. So, I guess they're wishing me luck because... I'm about to start the first real area of the game. Watching for dudes back, hiding around corners. Part of the reason, once again, why I love this game is the fact that you you can't just, like, walk through an area. It's not like other games where just kind of sauntering through a zone is an option. There's definitely no... There's no just sauntering in Dark Souls. It's all carefully calculated shit. Oh man, I don't even know if dropping would be a good idea here. Alright, well, let's just go on... Oh, look, you don't even need to drop because they have a nice little sexy... Well, I wouldn't call that bridge sexy. In fact, it's probably the shittiest bridge I've ever seen, but it's good enough for rock and roll and good enough for human effigy. Oh, dude. Um, I'm not going to risk that. I think you'll get... I always thought it was funny that in Dark Souls, maybe it's because corpses just take on water too quickly, but I always thought it was funny that corpses can't really, or that you can't swim, like, water in this game always means instantaneous and utter quick death because, except for, like, obviously this water right here is not instantaneous and utter, utter quick death because, oh, okay, whoa, I was like, is he dead or not? Because this water here, I think, is walking, or it's waiting, let's see, oh my gosh, what if I die? No, alright, cool. I was correct in my assumptions that this water can be waded through, which is nice. But yeah, water is always... Oh crap! No, no! Swing! There we go, nice. Haha! -ha. Dude, you know, screw this. I don't want to waste too many spells, so we'll wait for this guy to pop off an attack and then dagger him to death. Dagger him to death! You know, the dagger... So what's interesting about the dagger is it doesn't have a lot of power, but it's really fast. I always find... Or like, so I was playing Demon Souls this last week, just because... I was honestly trying to prepare my brain for Dark Souls. Like, I was like, alright, I'm gonna play Demon Souls, I'm gonna kind of get solid in the mechanics again, which is a good thing to do, because the mechanics are... Is there somebody after me? Oh, there's totes, there's two dudes after me, whatever, there's a bonfire right here. If I light it and sit in it, these guys, yep, he's afraid of the night, and I'll rest at it, just to make him reset, because that's what that'll do, right? Will you reset? Yeah, you'll totes reset. Alright, cool. Oh, but now that put that dude back on the beach over there, but I've got sweet spells 
I think my oh my gosh no get it jump get out of there there we go haha -ha! too slow you need to be a human not an undead and that way you wouldn't be slow but yeah Demon Souls is really interesting because it's it's like Dark Souls oh crap get your shit out of there oh he just uses a fist he's not that threatening oh my gosh but now I've got two dudes on me trying to roll backwards while I fend off two dudes and an archer. Alright, get my dagger out. Come on. I dare you. He's... Dude, this wuss is still afraid of the... Oh, get out of there. Nice. This wuss is still afraid of the uh, archer over there because he's a sucker. Oh, man. That archer got me, though. Alright, cool. Whatever. Uh, what was I talking about? What, did, what originally made me think of Demon Souls? Oh, it was weapons. Replaying some, some uh, good old Demon Souls sort of made me realize that I kind of love having, like, uh, fast weapons. Because what's nice about a good fast weapon is that even though it sort of lacks the the plus sides of, you know, being able to whack for big old damage, it has the other plus side of being able to, um, a lot of the times, a lot of enemies in this game get staggered when you attack. They have a little stagger animation. And so, whoa, shit! I don't have a shield. I was, like, sitting there trying to... I'm so used to having a shield in this game. But I don't yet, so I'm kind of fact. Ugh, not going to waste another spell on this asshole. There we go. Whew. But yeah. A lot of the enemies in this game get staggered, and so what's cool about having a weapon like a dagger instead of, like, a big old weapon that does a shit ton of damage is a, gr a great good deal of the time you can manage to kind of just keep an enemy staggered while you just do a bunch of quick little blasts of damage. And, like, it doesn't compare to those big old blasts of damage, but it gets the job done in a fair and decent way. Oh, and shit, my spell casting has made this grove of dudes aware of my presence. Okay, whoa, whoa, there's so many dudes. All right, you know what? I am fine with this. I've got the rolling skills to take this... To take this group of an an enemies out. Except for that archer is... As long as I keep moving, the archer's got nothing on me. Yeah. Whoa, no! Come on, spellcast! Whew! Man, spellcasting, it's like a double-edged sword. It's so cool, but you really gotta be on top of... Alright, where's that... I'm thinking I might be able to crack that archery dude one upside the head. Let's pop a life gem. I know. I don't want to pop too many life gems because I want to save them for stuff that I really and truly need. Also, I don't want to talk to this guy because, to be 100% honest... Oh, shit! There's that archer. <laughs> Screw that. Um, I'm going to come back to that guy after I find a bonfire. Because admittedly, once again, I've cheated a little bit. And uh, I was watching... I've watched my brother play somewhat... A little of this game. Oh, when I was down there, I totally missed whatever item is there. I'll have to remember from this vantage point that there's an item. Actually, I probably have to drop down from above. Whatever. But yeah. So when my brother was playing, I saw him and he was like, Hey, that dude is totally going to challenge you to a fight. So I'd rather not feck with him until... Um, I'd rather not give him any cause... Oh, no! Whoa! Shit. I should have... I should have daggered... Whatever, it's too late now! Get your dagger out and start staggering this guy. See, here goes some sweet dagger stagger. Oh yeah, rock the rock the dagger stagger. Fuck yes. Man, sometimes you just gotta rock that dagger stagger. And the dagger is actually... Can I climb this? No, okay. The dagger is actually rather important for me to make good use of, just because, um... Oh gosh. If you fall that way... It's certain death. Oh, that archer is rocking my world again. Can I get over to where the archer is? Or is that just kind of like... Oh, I totally can. I just gotta do a little... Droppy Woppy. The most terrifying thing to ever do in Dark Souls is... Drop from things. Oh, gosh. I wish I had a shield right now. Ah, I'm doing this the stupid way. Even though I don't have a shield, there's stuff I could totally be doing to... Make this much better world for me, but... Alright, whatever. Time to pop that other Estus Flask. And here we go. Another one of my arch nemeses. The jump. Oh, nice. 
seriously, I don't know why jumping just severely scares me in this game. Actually, you know, I do know why jumping scares me. It's because generally jumping is like, like I said, jumping is more, if you can do a jump, you get a reward. It's rarely part of the actual, like, lay of the land. Like, if the game actually wants you to jump, then you're in a really weird part of the game. There are, I will admit, though, there are at least a few places in the other dark, in, in Dark Souls, a ridge. What are my other things? Oh, Touch Bloodstain. I don't care about that. Yeah, in Dark Souls Classic and in... Oh, shit, what am I doing? Oh, I'm... You can drink your Estus Flask while on a ladder? Oh, there we go. I was like, can you slide down this thing? Yep. All right. Cool. And I saw one more dude wandering around down here, I thought, at least. Apparently not. Okay. Oh, there he is. I saw you from up top, and I'm not gonna let you get me. I've got a dagger, too. And guess what? I know how to use it, unlike your bitch ass. I can do the dagger stagger. Alright, crossing the white mist. Admittedly, once again, because I cheated and I sort of watched my brother, I know that there is no boss. White mist, so... One thing that you can know for sure when you're playing the Dark Souls is that... All bosses will be... There's a... There... Ooh! Haha, <laughs> sucka! Dagger stagger. All bosses were always gonna be through, like... Either they'll be through something that you can't get back, or a boss will always be through, um... Come on, there we go. Whoa! Or they will be, um, sort of in a place... Oh! Come on, Digger Stigger! Or they'll be in a place that you, like, there's no way to get back from, so... They generally just always put bosses in special places. I don't even want to deal with this sword guy. Let's just... This is what, see, this is what you save your Solaros for, is dudes that are gonna wreck you if you don't have a shield. Man, I swear though, so I already know that there are some shields. I could actually, when I get to another bonfire, I think what I'll do is I'll warp back. I know there's some shields for sale at the house of the, oh shit, Ugh. Screw, screw this archer. Alright, alright archer, it's time for you to learn what real range attack feels like. Solaros! Bam! Although, like, I'm- Whoa, shit! Whoa, this place is crawling with mans. And I'm running low on Solaros. I should start being very conservy of my Solaros. Alright. Alright, dude, we're gonna dagger stagger. Dude, we got some- It's not just dagger stagger, it's swagger stagger. Alright, time to rock some swagger stagger. Oh, except for this guy takes a shit ton of hits. Oh, that was close. That was super close. Like, dead serious, that was way too close for comfort. Alright, and I've got no Estus Flask. I've only got ten life gems. Let's just take it, take it careful over here. Alright. Screw you, dude. Try to, do you see this guy? He's trying to rock the trickery by, oh, whoa, that was trickery. Alright, dagger stagger to death, and then I'm gonna have to life gem because, gosh, it's kind of crazy that in, in this game they don't have just a full chunk of five Estus Flasks right off the... Oh, a buckler. You know what? That's not the best shield ever, but... a bu <laughs> It's better than... Oh, with... Oh my gosh! Well, it looks like the wizard... I, you know, by playing the wizard I knew that I was taking some liberties... <laughs> I did not realize that I wasn't even going to be able to do some, like, basic stuff. Right, let's get a nice look around up here. It appears to be a reasonably safe area. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I don't want to do that. I was recently watching Community, and I don't want to, like, accidentally start just saying cool, 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 because then I would feel like a poser. I'd feel like I'm copying somebody. I need my own... Original things that I say, fuck you! Oh, he's got one more hit left in him. Ah! And that was my last Solaro. Dude. You know, I'm definitely gonna have to get a better weapon than this dagger. Like, as much as I love the dagger, the dagger swagger stagger, like, the swagger stagger is definitely great, but it does lack in terms of. Come on, open the door! I know you're weak because you're a wizard and bonfire. Sexy. I know you're weak in your wizarding ways, well, let's not go up there until we deal with- Whoa! 
there's an item. How do you get up in the tree? I, it's probably by going upstairs. Whatever. So we got a vendor. We got a bonfire. Life is sexy and good right now because we have a vendor and a bonfire. All right, vendor. Let's see what your wares. Help an old woman and buy something. All right, all right. She's got... Dude, one of these items has probably got some way better swagger, except for... Look at this. My strength is so low, I can't wield, like, anything. Man, I don't want to invest in in strength when I'm doing, a, like, a wizard build, but I seriously might have to invest. Oh, she's got ten life gems, but I want to... I'd rather... Oh, and she's got... This is important. This is the blacksmith's key! So we'll finally be able to go to the blacksmith. <gasps> and she's got Solaro, but that is, I believe, the same Solaro that I already have. What's the other spell? Oh, heal. But that's a miracle. I don't have any faith, so. I'm a faithless heathen. So that will not help. That won't help a faithless heathen. All right, cool. And I'm going to tr... I've got 925 things. I am going to travel, and I'm going to cut away really quick while I do some things. So firstly and foremostly, back in Majula, I'm gonna crack, yup, I'm gonna crack the blacksmith shop open, because for some reason that woman way out there managed to steal that, and so... Oh my gosh. So I think actually if you just teleport away once and come back, then that guy will be ready for you. I think he up... I was like, there best be a chest in here or something, because I ain't leaving empty-handed. Alright, short bow, not bad. Actually, you know what? Shortbow might be good, especially since I'm playing as kind of a ranged character. A short mow, a short mow might be just what the doctor ordered. And let's see here. Let's take a gander at my um my strength. It's 3. I'm going to need a lot more strength if I'm going to be using a shield. But it's like I don't want you know, getting the rest of that strength too. So here's here's where it's sort of interesting. Leveling up my strength might not talk to her. Oh, I'm in I'm in the menu again. Leveling up my strength actually, now that I think about it, might not be a terrible idea. And there's a few reasons why. First of all, if I level up my strength, I can hold a shield. Oh, but I am too high of a level, I can't even gain a level right now. Alright, whatever. So first of all, if I level up my strength, I can carry a shield. And second of all, if I level up my strength, I can um what am I trying to say? Second of all, if I level up my strength, I can do more damage with my dagger, which, because I don't have a lot of spells yet, it is kind of helpful to be able to have, like, a secondary damage method. And and that way I can hold something better than a dagger, too. So, I might have to go strength, even though my spells are my strong, my strong point. So, mayhaps you noticed I warped off to things betwixt instead of to the place that I was at. That's because I wanted to see... If I got my item. Yep, and there it is. Titanite Shard. I talked about it a long time ago. I was like, yeah, you can get items from things if you... You can get items from this damn nest if you give it what it wants. I gave it what it wants. I got my Titanite Shard. I think, actually, I could have gotten it a long time ago, but I just was... I couldn't press X because the bird was talking. All right, back in town. The, the smith has taken his place. Uh, being a jerk. Just talking about being a blacksmith. And look at that. With his feet yeah, this guy's a jerk. I don't even care about... He's such an asshole. Seriously, stop telling me that you don't respect me and let me do stuff. So maybe this guy will have a weapon I can use. Oh, nope, not even close. He has, yep, he has no weapon that I'm even remotely close to being able to use. But he may have... He may still have things for me yet. Even though he doesn't have armor, which is kind of weird because he's a blacksmith. Kind of a shitty blacksmith, if you ask me, although he does sell Titanite shards, so the shards are cool because shards allow you to do shit but to upgrade your stuff, and I would like to reinforce my uh, casty staff, but oh, how much is... I don't have enough for the next upgrade or what? Oh, requires two Titanite shards. What the fuck? I have a Titanite Shard, or at least I have one. Whatever. Apparently I don't have a Titanite Shard? Whatever, fuck this guy. I can come buy some Titanite Shards if I need some, but I'm gonna head back to the other place now. 